Welcome back. It's the start of Dreamfall. We're in Casablanca and we are playing as Zoe Castillo, one of three protagonists in this game. The other two are some guy named Kian and April Ryan. I don't consider it a spoiler to tell you that because her picture's on the box. So, not much of a spoiler that April's in this game. But most of the time we'll be playing as Zoe. Some people don't like her, apparently. Um, I actually do like her. She's not as instantly likable, sassy as, as April was, but uh, I can really relate to uh, some of the things she's going to, uh, going through. And right now she's at home in her underwear. Situation that will soon rectify. Let's look around a little bit here. I've spent so much time on that thing lately, it's a wonder my butt hasn't ballooned. Oh yeah, let me talk a little bit more about these controls. I already mentioned how terrible they are. My biggest issue with the controls is that pressing up, or actually the W key, um, doesn't move you forward. It moves you away from the camera. Pressing down moves you toward the camera. Pressing uh, left moves you left with respect to where the camera is. And that's just really confusing. It's like they decided uh, that the way other first-person and third-person games work just wasn't good enough for this game. They had to make up their own control scheme, and it's terrible. And the other problem I have um, is the fact that the mouse just controls the camera, there's no cursor, and you have to use this strange focus beam thing that you activate with the right, uh, right mouse button to look at things that are further away, which is really weird and just reeks of a control scheme that was designed for a gamepad for playing on consoles and then awkwardly pointed, uh, awkwardly, uh, awkwardly ported to the PC. I had some friends over on Tuesday, was it? I really should clean up. Why clean up now if you can do it tomorrow? That's my philosophy. You can always do it later. Um, in the last video we actually picked up our mobile, which will be an important tool um, in this game. Uh, it sort of serves the purpose of the diary in the previous game as well as a communications tool, which of course it is, because it's a mobile phone. We can uh, view messages and um, diary entries by pressing the M key and opening the mobile phone. And we already got a message saying, this is an automatic reminder regarding your scheduled lesson at the gym. And apparently we're late, so we have to hurry for that. Although it doesn't actually matter how long we take so I'm just gonna look around uh, and take as much time as I want. And that message was from Jama Mbaye. I think that's how you pronounce it. I know it's Jama. I'm not sure about the last name. This is basically just a dialogue um, history. Won't be using that much. And this is the diary. Basically, like the, the the same as the diary in the previous game, only the messages tend to be a lot briefer, a lot less insightful, and basically usually just tell you what you're supposed to be doing currently, which isn't anywhere near as interesting as um, the diary in The Longest Journey, unfortunately. At least the font is easier to read. I shouldn't have to keep reminding myself, but Zoe, you have an appointment at the gym today. If I'm late, Jama will give me that whole commitment and passion speech. Again, for the thousandth time. So, Jim, today. Like now. But like I said, I'm actually gonna look around the room a little bit. It's a pretty nice room. Looks like a, she has a pretty nice uh, pad here. So I have a thing for pillows. So she does. And there's some pictures on the wall here. Is that her mother, or...? Olivia loves having her picture taken. No, it's Olivia. Who is her 
best friend. We'll meet her shortly, actually. Picture in the middle is Zoe and some guy. That picture was taken in Cape Town three years ago. I was checking out the campus and Reza came with me. Reza. Apparently. Her boyfriend, I guess. We don't know yet. Dad doesn't look very comfortable in that picture. Indeed, he doesn't. Must be like me then. I never look good in pictures either. It's the bathroom. A bit tiny. We've got a service that takes care of the house and the laundry, but they only stop by once a week. Convenient. Okay, I say the bathroom's tiny, but it's still about twice as big as mine, and no, I'm not exaggerating. I'm glad I don't have to share a bathroom with Dad. He's... messy. My favourite place in the world. I take the longest showers. I mean, what else is there to do? Okay, that was a bit weird. She was talking about the shower, but <laughs> she's actually looking at the toilet while saying, my favorite place in the world. Whatever. And close the door. Oh, apparently you can only close the door when you're inside the bathroom, which isn't that helpful to us. Um, camera controls are also very awkward, as you can already tell. Turn the screen off, actually. Central. Screen off. Ooh, voice control. Fancy. And there's this weird looking gorilla thing that told us about our mobile in the previous video. Wonkers has been with me since I was four. Dad bought him for me after Mum passed away. Apparently it's called Wonkers. And it seems to be some kind of toy uh, robot of some kind. And we can talk to it. Hiya, Wonkers. Zoe, do you want to play a game? Not today. I'm just not in the mood. Oh, okay then. And apparently he also uh, fulfills the purpose of a personal information manager. Remind me what's on my schedule today, Wonkers. Well, there's the gym at 11.30. Right. And after that? There's the party tonight. There's nothing before that. No, Zoe. That's all. I really need a job. Um, this is actually the uh, conversation interface of this game, which is a little bit different. Rather than telling you exactly what Zoe's going to say when you pick a particular choice, you just get topics. And when you hover over them, you get um, a little bit of elaboration about what the topic is about. But you won't know what Zoe's actually going to say until you pick one. So what are the headlines today? Gagan Galanka was spotted with Chinese model Vivian Zhu last evening at the swanky Europolis nightclub Bitta. Witnesses told... Mm, no. Next story, please. Casa Wee playboy Batista Massad shocked audiences at... Skip the entertainment news. Is there anything else? It turns out that Bingo brand diet wine has more calories than... Do you have any real news? You've programmed me to track entertainment news and diet-related headlines, Zoe. If you want to reprogram my news filter, that's easy. Oh, no. I guess I'll access a news feed. Apparently Wonkers is also an RSS reader. Don't you get bored just sitting here in my room? I know I do. I don't get bored. I think a lot. You do? About what? About the fun times we've had together, Zoe. The memories make me happy. Wonkers, that's... sad. Why? I'm not programmed to feel sad, Zoe. I'm programmed to feel happy. Always. Lucky you. I wish I knew what that was like. Rule number one if you want to make a lifelike uh, robot, don't ever have it say the phrase, I am programmed to. I need to get going. Are you sure you don't want to play a game? We haven't played a game in so long. I'm sorry, Wonkers. I just haven't felt much like playing lately. Okay, then. Okay. 
Apparently Zoe only recently got here because of all these moving boxes. Or she's incredibly lazy and just has put up unpacking for years. What a mess. What a mess. Yeah. Another box on top of the closet. I don't want to unpack everything. I won't be staying long, I hope. Okay. So she just got here and wants to move on again as well. well I guess we'll need to rectify this um, whole underwear situation. But we'll do it uh, in the next video.